Hey, welcome to the second to last ever episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, and I got very special guests, my good old friends, the I'm So Fats, Gary and Melissa. How you guys doing? Hey, everybody. That's, that's actually quite an honor. We're yeah. in the second to his last beer review. Hey. What? What's happening? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm hitting a thousand episodes, ten years. I just feel like I've just kind of said everything there is to say, you know? Yeah. So... And I know how much you guys love Dogfish Head, so I thought we should review a Dogfish Head beer as your, you know, mm-hmm. a, another. And we, I, th- I don't know if we did this together, but I know you guys definitely reviewed Bitches Brew before, but this is the wood aged yeah, Bitches I don't Brew. Yeah, I've ever tried the wood aged. It's funny because I can't remember if it was wood aged in the beginning, but it definitely is now, so. No, no, yeah, this is a new, a new one. Like, it's what really? they did is. They took the Bitches Brew recipe and they aged it in those Palo Santo Maron wood tanks that they used to make the Palo, uh, Palo Brown Ale. Yeah. So like- this should be like the same as Bitches Brew, just like woodier. All right, so smell it. I get a lot of fruitiness on here. Oh, yeah. Fruitiness and chocolate. I get chocolate, too. Yeah, like black licorice. Yeah. And something, you know, tart. Yeah, there is almost like a, it might be a little bit of a sour thing in there. Do you get yeah. that? Yeah, what's the ABV on this beer? It's a 9%. Wow. Woo! I'm not, you know, it's funny, it's wood aged, but to to me it doesn't smell wood aged. Are you getting wood on here at all? Maybe like no. a little vanilla? No. I actually, no, it I'm actually... getting like a tartness and, and astringency. Kind of yeah. like something sour, sort of. I mean, it's a nice smelling beer. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to dig into it. Yeah, well, let me score it on the aroma here. I'm a little disappointed it's not as woody as it's as, as I thought it would be, but as an imperial style, it's fine. For aroma, I'm going to say 9 out of 12. Hmm. What do you think? Hmm. I'm thinking for aroma, I would give it a 10 out of 12. Okay. I think I smell like chocolate. Yeah. Vanilla, like I do smell a little wood. I do like a burnt flavor. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a seven because to me it smells like a little sour. Yeah. I don't know. Why. Appearance, lovely. Uh, you know, opaque stout, lovely creamy head on here. It looks like it's gonna stick around. Oh yeah, the head looks really Beautiful. good. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm gonna go the full three out of three on appearance. I'll yeah, me like too. Yeah. Appearance, oh, definitely, yeah. Okay. Well, I wish, wish I wish I was there to clink the glasses in person, so we we'll do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. I'm... You can taste the honey in there. Yeah. Do you taste the? Uh... I mean, they make, they make a point of saying brewed with honey right on the label here. Yeah, I taste honey. I didn't even know that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so I'm getting... really good. Well, I get the chocolate nibs. They got chocolate nibs in here. I get, yeah. I get those. I would actually, because I'm not a really stout person, like, like, I do like stouts, but I don't drink them all the time. But right. this one particular stout, I think it's really good. Like, I would, like, I would maybe have one a day. There's no way I could drink, like, six of, these, like six of them in one night. Oh, I, I wouldn't <laughs> think so. Yeah. Like, IPAs, I can drink six or seven. But this one, I would just, like, sit down and say, I'm going to enjoy yeah. this bitch's brew. So, what flavors are you tasting? Because to me, like, right away I'm getting, like, honey. I'm getting kind of, like, dark fruit, like, in, yeah. like, a, a black grape. Like, I smelled sour, but it doesn't taste sour to me. It does a little bit. It tastes a little sour to me. I taste the dark fruit, though, kind of like, you know, raisiny or prunes, something like that. Yeah, I agree. I definitely get, I'm getting a lot of chocolate. Um, definitely chocolate. Yeah, I don't definitely. get the sourness, and I don't get wood either. I'm not getting wood. Do you get wood? Hey, <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear. Oh, somebody that. had to say that tonight, I guess. Um. Well, 
Well, yeah, you know, well, I'm, I, wood well, usually comes across as like a vanilla flavor or like toasted almonds or something, but like if if it didn't say well if it didn't say wood aged on the on the label here, I would never think that it was. So it's yeah. a little disappointing. Yeah, and, you're actually right because I actually think it actually tastes like the other bitches brew. You know, the older that one that we remember. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't had that. Wood, it is very here. smooth, and you know, wood might attribute to it being so smooth. Yeah. So, you know. Well, the wood would give it a little bit of a vanilla taste. Mm-hmm. But um, like oak wood is vanilla, right? I mean, yeah. So I mean, as an imperial stout, I mean, it's on point. Like, I mean, everything that's in here, I would associate with imperial stout flavors, plus the the bonus flavor of the honey, which is yeah. nice. But I might have to I have to knock a few points off of it because it's supposed to be wood aged beer and it doesn't really taste all that woody. Yeah. So I agree. For the style guidelines, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, as a beer, it's as an imperial style, it's pretty nice. Beer, yeah, like I always like the bitches brew, but as if they were to say it's wood aged, I don't taste like a a woody flavor to it. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna score for the flavor category. I'm gonna give it, I think about a 13 or 14 out of 20. I think I'll go 14. Wow. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty rough there. No. Well, just because, like, the, you know, because they're marketing it as a wood age beer, and it's really yeah. not all that woody. So, I mean, other, I mean, like, I'm enjoying it at about a seventeen. Oh yeah, me too. I'm enjoying it, but like you said, I yeah. really don't think it tastes that much different as the other. The other I, bitches. I will. I would go seventeen just because I know. I know if they're saying wood aged and we're not getting the wood, mm-hmm. I don't really think that's going to kill me because I just like the flavor of it. I think yeah. it's good, so I'm going to go 17. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? I'm thinking I'm going to go like a 13, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow, I that's think. Critical. No, I actually think that there's no wood in this. And if I was to go to a store and said, hey, oh my God, look, wood aged. It tastes the same as the other, the other bitches brew. Okay. Yeah. See, Gary was critical on the aroma, but then he's generous with the flavor, so <laughs> like it. kind of evens out. Uh, the next, ca- I think you're gonna do a uh, mouthfeel category, aren't you? Yeah, mouthfeel. Like, how would you describe the mouthfeel? I gotta go more critical with that because my imperial stouts, I like them to be thicker in body. To me, this is a light body. No, see, I love a light body beer. This yeah. is perfect. No, I, I, I would, it's not light. Like, Coors Light is light body. This is yeah, at least medium. Yeah, lighter than usual stouts. Like, some stouts. I'd probably put this at about medium full body and probably about moderate carbonation. It's very creamy. It's very smooth. The drinkability yeah. on it is really nice. Like, it's 9% ABV. I don't really get much in the way of alcohol. I'm not getting heat or anything. No. Nice drinkability on this one. Yeah, you're right. There's actually no alcohol flavor at all. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, because, like, alcohol. It's really, like... really good that way. For the mouthfeel, I'm going to go 4 out of 5 on mouthfeel just because, like, it's very comfortable, smooth. Overall drinkability is really high. It's not like you're breathing fire. So it's not perfect, though. But um, So four out of five, what do you think? Yeah, I think I would go four out of five, too. I'll go three. Really? Just, Why? To me, it's just kind of a little bit light feeling, and I like Imperial Stouts to be thick. Yeah. Um, Maybe just because it's so smooth, it seems light. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, overall, overall impression. I'm gonna give us like an eight out of ten, which well, actually I think that is kind of generous. Yeah. Um. I would I would do um a nine out of ten. Okay. I'll go and check it. It's really good. Yeah, I would actually give it a nine too. Okay. I would say buy the stout. Good stout. <laughs> My total score was 38 out of 50, which is pretty good. Um, I think everybody was right around that area, somewhere high 30s, low 40s, you know. You know, pretty, a very good beer, maybe excellent. But 
I, I, I get, I'm just a little disappointed that they're calling this wood aged and like it's really yeah. There's nothing woody about it to me. Yeah. Like maybe if it was bourbon barrel aged, I think that would be nice. Oh, I like the yeah, bourbon like ones. Oh. Yeah. Like maybe maybe I don't know. Yeah. No, has Doctor Shed ever done a bourbon barrel aged beer? I don't think they ever have. All right, well, we're going very long here, so let's wrap this up. Thanks again, right. Gary and Melissa, for being on my second to last ever beer review. Um, too bad it wasn't amazing, but it's still a good beer. Oh, uh, yep. Thanks for thanks for joining me. All right, so cheers. Cheers, cheers to the beers. Side. Cheers. All right, take care, man. Bye, the beers.